a year. Do you remember any of the other doctors? Uh, if I mentioned some yeah, names, no, Martin. No, I, 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 uh, all along the line, at the 55, I got dysentery and, and was laid up for a while. And uh, I sort of hospitalised, but not for long. And uh, that was no Arthur Brazier from Kurup, he was lying beside me, he had dysentery too. Well, he passed away at that camp. Uh -huh. But uh, other than that, I, I kept reasonably, reasonably well. Uh -huh. at, at the 75, um, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, some humorous things happened. Uh, one, one was that the, the old colonel there <laughs> had some chooks, see? Uh, anyhow, Freddie Webb and I were down there and Fred grabbed his rooster. They were out and every night he'd grab some prisoners of water, round up his chooks and huh. lock them up. They wouldn't be far away because they were the only place to get any rice off of him. Anyhow, we ran them up <laughs> and Fred grabbed this rooster and wrung its neck. I mm. grabbed all of it and bent like this to wring its neck, mm. you see, which is stupid anyway. Mm. So, <laughs> and jumped it under a tree. Mm. And uh, later on, we went down to salvage this rooster and it was back in the pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it was just as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, TB punishment they had. Now, you, you moved on to a 105 kilo camp, which is nearly on the yeah, border. Yeah, I was just about uh, I'm sorry. 174. Yeah. On one side there was a bridge, on that side there was a bridge. And we're building this bridge at the 75 on the opposite side there. And the tiers, they put one tier in. Mm -hmm. and. Then that if they had to make another tier, they'd drill a hole, the same size as this pipe hole that was going down, the, you know, uh -huh. on the other one, stand it on a piece of pipe like that, and then dog it all the way around with dogs for about yes. a foot long. Yes, right? I know. Yep. Right? Well, this particular one had to have this knot, then the next tier, then they had to have another tier. Uh -huh. Now, uh, Fred. You know, I've, we're born the holes in this thing, and when we get this one up on the top tier, we hadn't bored the hole straight. So the um, when it goes on, it's like that. And the chap done his nose, <laughs> and he hit me on the head there with the back of the axe. Yes. And I fell down, mm. and I woke up in in uh, in the camp with a crook shoulder. Uh -huh. but, uh, other than that, uh, I was all right, you know. Uh -huh. But uh, I never got any other sickness there. So then they uh, came round. we just finished work one night, about five o'clock, we just about done our quota for the day. They come and says, oh, you're moving on to the 105. Uh -huh. So they they marched us from, we had to get our special little bit of gear together, and they marched us and they said they wanted us at 105 next, um, next morning to start work uh -huh. <laughs> at daylight next morning, uh -huh. which had Buckley's. Well, now this is where everybody remembers Hoppy White. Uh -huh. yeah, although he had the short leg, uh -huh. Now, he, he was physically fit, but uh -huh. was that? Boys would be working all uh -huh. day. Uh -huh. He was walking up and down the line, uh -huh. taking turns, <coughs> carrying the boys. Really? Gear. For that, that's and great. He, yeah. yeah. He'd, walk, he'd take, take turns, he'd, he'd carry your gear on. Yes. Give you a bit of a rest, put it down. Yes. Let the next boat come past or struggle and take his gear. Yes. Carry it on when he'd had a rest. That's great. Mm. Yeah. That's people always remember him more for that than yes. anything else. Yeah. 
Now, when you got to 105, was yeah. Claude with you? Yeah, Claude, yeah, I remember Claude well there. Yeah. That's one camp I do remember because uh, uh, I, I still hadn't got any real sick. I had diarrhea, but everybody had diarrhea. Mm. It was something that you just had to put up with. And, and what we used to do if the diarrhea got too bad, no matter how, or well, we tried, somebody said eat charcoal. Mm. Now, we tried eating charcoal. But you try eating charcoal mm. and then try to wipe the backside of like having grass, <laughs> glass paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's wicked. Yes. So that was the end of the charcoal. We yeah. found the best way was, although you were hungry, mm. to drink fairly hot water mm. and eat nothing mm. and try to wash it out here. At least you'd get, sometimes you'd go for months and you'd you'd have blood run out, you'd think of them on, you know. Mm, mm. But uh, everybody had that, mm. all mostly. But malaria, I hadn't had malaria. Mm -hmm. wow. And on my 21st birthday, I went to Doc Anderson, and he said, what are you on, Blue? Mm. I said, I'm 21 today. <laughs> I said, I want the day off. He said, you got Buckley's. He said, I'll see what I can do. He said, I'm telling you, got, tell them you've got malaria. I said, okay. And I hadn't had malaria. Uh -huh. So I'd been down the uh, Jap officer's place and I knew he had some uh, palm sugar under his bed. So I put me, opened the, the uh, wire up, the bamboo up, and got a bit of palm sugar out of it. Fred and I used to go into the Jap kitchen whenever we could. About four in the morning, we always worked out that you slept soundest before you were due to wake up to cook top in. Mm. So I got a bit of flour, and then the Jap officer had one egg in his thing under his hut. Eh? So I nicked that, but I didn't know it was the only egg that he there or that he knew it was there. And went down, Fred and I were together, get some water, went past, through the none of the none of the You steal egg? No, I told you, no, 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 I told you, no, One egg escape. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my 21st birthday. Yeah. So I mixed this up all together, made a cake of it, put it in the army dicks down to the kitchen, and they used to, have the hot ashes under the 44 mm. gallon drum dresses. Cover you that with hot ashes. And uh, uh, my cake, so they did that for me. And I've got malaria. Right. The worst dose of malaria God ever created. Mm. And I'm laying on the bed, and the boys come in. They said, where's your cake? And I was too crooked to even be bothered with me cake. Well, so well, they went down and got me cake, sat around me bunk and ate me cake. Yes. Um, that was my 21st birthday and my first, first incident with Claude. Yes. But another thing I remember, there was one of the humour side, if you like, sad humour or painful humour. Dutchy Holland, he was out of the second floor motor transport and he was skinny before he was taken prisoner and he was just as skinny, he never seemed old. But, but he had a couple of piles and uh, this was at 105 and uh, anyhow, Claude was going to take these piles off. So he, he said, any fit men around? And this bloke Jones, he was pretty fit. And uh, he just put you back against the tree. So he got it back in the tree and Dutchie's hold his head and he's got it, eh? Uh, old Claude, Claude nipped one off <laughs> and Jones, he wasn't ready for him. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he went as white as that thing. Anyhow, old Claude never turned a brow. He looked and just changed the man on the tree. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So I got on the tree, but I was ready for him. I had hold of his shoulders and sort of one, two, three, go sort of business, you know. Yes. And there's 
And Dutchy Holland, he'd remember Claude well too. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a pile operation that way, them days. Now Claude was uh, given a rest at one stage and he was replaced by Major Kranz. Do you remember him at all? Who? Yep. Major Kranz. No, no. Mm, a little, little, very short Jewish man with a moustache. Yeah, I've got no idea about that. I never had any. But no. as I say, is mm. that I virtually, except for uh, for a few times, mm. had nothing to do with doctors until mm. uh, the hundred and five. You know. Yes. Until I, uh, I the dysentery. There was no use going on sick parade with dysentery. Did nothing they could do with no. it. No. Mm. And uh, if you if you still looked all right. They, they couldn't get you the day off at any rate. Mm. So, yeah, but if you were sort of at a stage where you couldn't walk around, well then you had to go and mm. see what they could do, you know. When was the first time you came across the Americans on the line? Uh, seven, fifty five. Mm. Fifty five. Mm. Yeah, the first time I came across them, I remember it was a fifty five because um, uh, the when you went to the toilet there for the urine toilet, we used to get these big bamboos. They're big, and I mean big, mm. and place them into the ground, dig a deep hole, put them mm. in the ground, mm. and use them for urinals. You mm. see, uh, well, I'd been in the leak, and I'm coming back, and this yank yells out to me, "Hey, where is he? Mm. I'm here." And he's talking to a couple of Englishmen. He said, can you understand these guys? They invented the language and can't talk it. <laughs> really? <laughs> so that, that's so I can remember the Yanks was there. That so was yeah. 55, that was. And which, where did those Englishmen come from? Do you remember? Were they Geordies? Oh, or they were all over. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 you'd, uh, you'd hear a bloke say, a good old Geordie and yeah. another boat say good old something else. Yeah. I say, how do you get around there? Well, I said, you can tell by their brogue where they come from. Yes. And they're, they're, they're all over. Yeah. And, uh, and nearly, then we struck another lot in Sakata, you know. Then, uh, yes. Was, yeah. We, do you remember Eric Fraser stole yeah. a map from the Japs? Did you ever know anything about that? A what? Eric Fraser stole a map. A map. Chaps. Yes, he certainly did. No, no, mm. no, no, no. No, that's no, all right. No. Um, do you remember the journey once the line was joined? Do you remember the journey down into Thailand? Or much about it? Uh, oh, well, well, you see, uh, I, the, I was with a group that was left behind when the line was finished, uh -huh. chopping wood for uh, chopping wood for the engine. For the entrance. Making a right. wood pile for the engine. Yeah. Well, uh, Ang Can Ang was, uh, there was about 3,000 at one time. Mm. Well, there's only about 40 of us there. Mm. Yeah. And uh, they put the whole lot, 40 of us, in, in a carriage and we just went through to Thailand. That's all yeah. there was. Yeah. We just went to, uh, no, no, nothing eventful at all. Just, yeah. went, just went through to uh, Canberra. Do you remember a very old Australian POW? Uh, like, there was one bloke on the Burma end who had his 60th birthday up there. Oh, hell. And his name was Levi, he was a Jewish fellow. No, 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 no. no. Oh. We had some old blokes there, Ted Hardy, Ozzy Climby. They were all first war soldiers. Yeah. Um. Well, this bloke had put his age up by 14 years. He'd been born in 1882 and on his enlistment papers it says 1896. <laughs> <laughs> and all he, well, the reason why I asked you is that all he did, the Japs realised he was old and couldn't do much and he was just stacking wood. You know, you, you know people would bring it down and he was you know, mm -hmm. stacking it. Alright, so you go down to Thailand. Did you stay in uh, when you got down to Thailand, were you in Kanchanaburi or were you in Tamakan camp? Camp Bureau. Were you? Yeah, yeah, pretty oh. uh, I was only there about two weeks. There was a hospital there in Big Hospital, that was Camp Bureau, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah, camp Bureau. Yeah. Uh, the, 